Welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about Nintendo Switch and the new Zelda game. So uh, stay tuned for it. It's going to be really good. You're watching the 70s man's channel. Welcome back. Yeah, today's video was going to be about the Nintendo Switch and Zelda. So um, I'm going to do a fast unboxing of it, but not something insane because it's so much of uh, Nintendo Switch unboxings on online on YouTube today. So I'm going to do a fast unboxing and then when I have the product out, I'm going to talk about the product and what I think about it. I have actually cheated a little because I got that here Friday and I played with it all weekend to um, so I could say a little about what I think about the product and also the same with Zelda. So um, let's get going with the unboxing. Yeah, so here we have the Switch. So let me open the box and let's see what's in it. Just going to be a fast unboxing and then we can talk about the other things later. In here you have the switch on itself it is very little when you take it in your hand the feeling of it is like premium material premium build quality on it so that's nice uh, I'll say it's maybe 10 or 15 percent bigger than a big smartphone today so it's not that big Normally when you're used to a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One, when you get the new system right, it's BAM on the fucking bigs. And now here, that's what you get. I don't want to see a mini edition of this one here. You know, a slimmer model. But where would they put the stuff? Right. Yeah, what else do we have in the box? Joy-Con. That's damn little. My hands are big, when you're sitting like this here with it and playing it like the one you two, if you're on a two player, you can do it, but it's, it's more, it really is. Yeah, let's see here, we have, you have one more. Joy-Con. Let's go underneath. And here you have the holder for your Joy-Cons, so you can play like a normal console on it. And here, standard power supply from saying Nintendo on it. And you're actually also having a HDMI cable saying Nintendo on it, if you're into that. Uh, last thing in the box is the docking station for it here. That's how it is. Not that big. There are a logo on the front, at the back Nintendo, and you're opening it up. And you have for HDMI, and you have for USB, and an AC adapter. And you can close it up so all the cables look nice and tidy to a television. So yeah, that was what's in the box. Not a really exciting unboxing, but there's so many unboxings out on YouTube right now. So I thought I'd rather use my time on talking about how the system is and what I think about it instead. So let me pack that up here fast, like that. This here we don't need, let's put it here. If you take the talking station first. It's little, it's handy, it don't feel not that big if you want to take it with you. So that's nice. One thing is, it's made of solid plastic. Um, I've seen online that um, you can scratch your screen on your switch. 
if you're fiddling too much with it to get it down in the crack, right? <laughs> um, how Nintendo did it here is that it's small size, it's very, you, you cannot really see it here. But um, like small sharp corners. What they should have done was put a little filt padding inside here. So when you slide it down, it was soft and cozy on the screen. So yeah, the docking station. To the switch, right? It feels like a sturdy product. When you're holding it and touching it, it actually feels like metal, but it isn't. The body, that's plastic. The screen, that's plastic. When you're used to a smartphone today, have Gorilla Glass or something on it so it don't scratch your screen. So I will go buy a screen protector for it. That was why I bought the case here, because it came with a screen protector. So it don't scratch your new expensive product. Yeah, but here, if you haven't seen it, let's slide it down like that. Two second job. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's also coming with two small sliders. You can slide on the controllers. Um, they're really hard to get off again. So uh, there's a plus and a minus here. And on those sliders is a plus and a minus and the need to match up the controllers. Or else it's going to be really hard to get it off again. It laying down nice down in your hand when you're holding it. It's nice and sturdy. No fiddling around. I have seen people have problems with the, the Joy-Cons. It's wobbly and um, the screen don't work. Or flickering screens, or, yeah, all of that. But I think normally you, you are to expect that when um, you're going to buy a new product. Because imagine how many they have assembled of this year, right? So there will be a fall rate on that. Yeah, nice products so far. Let's see here. We have the plastic for the controller. Going to slide it off here. It's actually really easy to slide it off here. It works really good. When you're sliding it down here, So I have like a normal controller. When I um, saw this here and how small the Joy-Cons are, I thought, oh fuck, when I'm going to play Zelda right, that's going to be a problem. I may be going to need that uh, Pro Controller Nintendo have made. But I didn't buy it in the from the start because it was expensive enough, so I thought I could get it later on if I wanted. But I was actually very impressed. I have big hands, but it lays perfect when you want a game in it. And also, if you don't want to sit like this here, normally a controller you have a little more wider. But here you are a little small controller. If you don't want that, you can do it like this here. Put that aside, take your controllers and lay back and play like that, right? I have tried it. It's actually working fine, but you need to uh, it's a new way to hold a controller when you're playing, just have your hands where you want to have them. So you need to have a little learning curve in that. Yeah, that was a fast unboxing of the Switch and a little what I thought about it. Um, let's unbox the last two things here. And then when uh, I'm finished unboxing all the shit, we are um, going to have a little talk about what I think about the prop, uh, what I think about <coughs> about the product and the game so uh, stay tuned if you still like what you see yeah we're back and the carrying case it's a handheld and a console so I thought I needed something to transport it in because it's an expensive product right so it would be stupid not to buy it and anyway, I needed a screen protector, and this here came with a screen protector. So, it's not really that excited about it. Seeing Nintendo Switch on the front, the back, Nintendo, and inside here, 
this space for the normal console and a couple of games. That's that's it. And then it's soft padded inside. Yeah. Something I think you need to buy if you're going to buy a Switch and want to take it out with, from the house. Because if you're going to put it in a bag with something, it's going to get scratched because it is plastic, the whole product, right? So I think you need this if you're buying a Switch. Yeah. And now, to the main part, the European edition. US, you got all the great shit, man. Here we don't get anything. But when I bought the Switch and I wanted Zelda, of course you want Zelda when you want to play, play on the Switch because there's no games that are worth buying anyway, right? The normal Zelda was sold out. So I needed to buy the collector's edition. So, actually I pre-ordered the collection edition when I saw the unboxing on uh, YouTube of the American one. I was like, oh fuck, um, I need that shit because I'm so big a Zelda fan, right? See my hat, let's see my toy. <laughs> but um, let's see what's inside the European edition if you haven't seen it. Going to open it up here. <gasps> A fucking CD! Who's using CDs today? I'm not using CDs. I think it's over 10 years since I opened I used a CD. Um, but anyway, then I don't need to open it, do I? So I have a music CD. You have your game. And inside here don't know if that is for the European edition. Inside it you have the Zelda Master Sword in the back. I have seen unboxings where the normal game have Zelda crawling up here on a mountain. I don't know if this here is special to a European. But if you know, write it down in the comment so we can talk about it. The game's insanely small. It's smaller than the 3DS games, maybe half the size. So, um, yeah. One thing Nintendo have done here is when you have a game, and if you have a child, they're thinking, ooh, licorice. But um, it isn't right. So, when you leg on it, I have tried to leg on it this year, um, it's not a good taste. It's not that bad, but I would say how it tastes is like if you have taken a, a pill and you have sucked off the sugar of the pill and then you get that taste from the pill itself, right? That's how the taste is on the games. So, um, yeah. Don't eat it. It is an expensive snack if you do. Yeah. The game, Music City, and I think oh, that was it. It's uh, of the things. Then we have the last thing that also is coming in uh, the Master Edition um, in the US, and that is, of course, let's see here. The Master Sword statue itself. And here we have it. See if I can get it out without breaking it. It's a little fragile here. Ooh. And the Master Sword itself. I think this here is plastic and the flower is also plastic, very fragile, and it is a heavy base that it is on. So if you're a big Zelda fan, of course you need that here. Um, it could, this here could have been nice in fucking one-to-one -one scale, right? 
but uh, maybe a little more expensive <laughs> than Rand. Yeah, this was the fast unboxing of all the products. So um, let's jump over and let hear what I think about the Switch and about the Zelda game. So stay tuned if you still like what you see. So what we were waiting for to hear if it is any good. The product here, you get when you're opening it, I got the same feeling like when I opened my Super Nintendo in the, the 80s or was it 90s, right? Um, and for a little story, I bought a Super Nintendo when I was uh, 13 years old or something. And um, I sold my Sega Mega Drive and 16 games for I wanted that Super Nintendo because I always wanted a normal NES machine. But when I was little and I said to my mom and dad, I want a Nintendo NES. They said, oh yeah, let's see what we can do in the future. Right? And here we rented consoles every Friday to Sunday, me and my cousin, so we could play Nintendo. Because you could play Mega Man, you could play um, Mega Man. <laughs> You could play DuckTales, uh, Gremlins, right? There was a lot of games that you could play. And here in our local store, uh, toy store in my town, we had an old Nintendo box with 10 games in it and you could stand and play. And when you stand and play it, and uh, there was a time on it for maybe one or two minutes, then it jumped out to the start screen again. But we figured out fast that on the Behind the console, there was a switch that you could uh, switch, um, so you could play without any time on it. So we just stand and play, right? So that was freaking nice. So the day the day came when my dad he wanted to go out and buy a Nintendo for me, and when he went out to the local store where he sold that shit when I was little. Uh, he said, I need something called uh, a Nintendo. And they said, yeah, we have one here. The price is around a thousand Danish and a game five, six, seven hundred for a game. And he just, what? That's insane for a console when you are seven or eight years old, right? Then they said, but we have just got this other system in here. It's called the Sega master system so he thought oh what's the price for that around 600 and it's coming with the game super hang on or what it was called right hang on so he said he thought ah oh, mm -hmm. gonna buy a, a console i get a free game i have more money so that was what I, I ended up with right i was also happy about my sega master system but it was not um i couldn't play mario could i or Mega Man. So um, that was why I really wanted this um, Super Nintendo. And when I bought that, I was really happy about it. Uh, it came with the Super Mario World and it was really good. Then it came out one day, I wanted a new game for my system. Two seconds. But when I saw the price for it, right? six seven eight hundred danish for a game and i was 13 years old how should i get money for a game i have a system now with one game so i think over a year i played the same game then one day my mom came home and she had bought a game for me the legend of zelda linked to the past for the super nintendo it was insanely nice so that was the point where I got hooked on Nintendo, uh, the Zelda game in Nintendo. Because I didn't play um, the old, I tried it, but I didn't really understand Zelda when I was uh, seven, eight years old because I couldn't read any English at that point. So, but that was my first Super Nintendo game for my Super Nintendo and that was why I really have a heart for this game here. 
Yeah. And back to the Switch. I got the same feeling when I opened this here. Like when you're opening your um, Super Nintendo for the first time. I'll say it's it's a nice product, it's a sturdy product. But uh, one thing I have is here when you put the games in that that here, that tap, that's very hard plastic feeling. So it feels like if you do that a lot, it will break off. So have a look at that. One thing more I think is a little steep, that is this year. When you buy a new console and you have this here, so it's meant you can play it as a controller. You can also do that, but there is one thing here, there is no charging in this year. So that will say that you need to buy a new one of those here where you can charge your fucking Joy-Cons, right? I think that's a little steep that they haven't put that in it um, from the start because it is an expensive console. Many people are thinking, oh, why does it cost this, right? So um, this needed to have been a charging one instead of a non-charging one. Yeah, this here, as I said, watch out if you're going to put your uh, switch in it, take it and firmly put it down like that. Not if you're fiddling too much around with it, that's how you're going to scratch your screen. Um, so if you have that in mind when you're putting it down, yeah, then I don't think it's going to happen, but who knows. Over to Zelda and Breath of the Wild. I have played it this weekend here. Um, it's really nice. It's the same feeling as when I played that game here. So that's... I can recommend it. I understand why they're giving it, giving it it's a, a 10 out of 10. Because it is a really, really good game. And when you're, when you're starting running around in the world, you can see it is open world. And everywhere you can see, you can actually fly or clay, um, crawl up a mountain or what you want to do, right? So it's really good. So, but okay, I don't think you're buying a Switch for not buying this. Maybe one to Switch is turning on, so that's why you need to buy that, but I don't think so. So, um, yeah. Hope you like uh, the fast unboxing here of Zelda and the Switch and what little I have to say about it. Um, if you have wondered what this over here is, my little Zelda figure, it's a Japanese company called Goodwill, where you can uh, buy um, those here. It's uh, a Nindroid, they're called. I'm going to put a link down in the description so you can uh, find the products. They are a little steep when you import it. Uh, so I thought I want to go look at eBay. And I went to eBay, I bought that here and a couple of others, Mega Man and the Joker. Um, and I thought, why is there that insanely import on it? And then when I have bought it, I started looking on YouTube because I want to see how the product were, uh, how it's going to look when I come home to me and what I'm getting, right? And then I heard, knockoff products. And now I know why the price was that low when I bought that here. Um, if you don't know it's an knockoff, you're not gonna know because it, it looks like a, a normal product when you're holding it and uh, the box everything for it. It feels like a, a real product. So, um, but if you're a collector and want to collect them, you need to look out when you buy um, on eBay, especially from uh, Japan or China. Yeah. Hope that uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. Hi again. If you liked the video, it would be a big help for me if you could subscribe up in the corner. And over here, there is a couple of movies for what I've done on my channel. The more subscribers I can get, the better products I can get to show and the better videos I can do for you. So hope you're going to support the channel. And see you next time.